Hey, this is the Swedish Guitar Nerd. And today on FX Explain, I'm going to talk about compressor or compressor sustainer or yeah, whatever the company likes to call it. Uh, but regularly you, tol- uh, you call it compressor. Uh, yeah, the effect, what it does is it, that it's um, trying to uh, make every note or everything you play equal and um, even them out because um, when you record uh, yeah guitar that's what we're interested in here it will look something like this so you have uh, some of the signal is stronger some is weaker and uh, well in other words dynamics um, and that can be a really good thing and something you really want. But if you don't, and you want more uh, uh, of something like this, where the signal is uh, very even and uh, yeah, you get the same kind of output uh, between playing single notes and playing chords, for instance. Then you need a compressor, or you need to be able to play perfectly volume-wise, shifting from styles. Mm-hmm. That's probably impossible. Um, yeah, so that's where the, this effect com- comes in handy. It's mostly used uh, with uh, clean sounds, uh, especially because distortion pedals or amp distortion does this it really uh, creates this effect Uh, all kinds of distortion compresses so it uh, it both uh, there are usually there are two things that a compressor pedal controls it's um, uh, the level where your signal isn't supposed to be stronger with so you're like the guitars i showed they are supposed to be this big and not that big so everything is there's a level and it's usually called like a threshold or something like that. Uh, so that like determines the compression. And if you have that's if that's the only effect you want, then you should have a limiter because that's what a limiter effect does. It just cuts the volume at a certain level. Uh, but the compressor also, if you have um, things that are played with a lower volume, it uh, amplifies them, so that it's trying to make them as big as this uh, volume level, uh, up to that volume level as well. Um, Yeah. So that's, and that effect, uh, that control is usually labeled sustain, uh, because what it does, it it is, is as if you turn up the volume while playing the note, and yeah. It's hard to explain. Explain. It's better to show it, I suppose. So here, uh, it's the clean sound of my guitar without any compression. And notice how uh, it's dynamic. You, when I play very soft, you can't barely hear it. And when I play really hard, it's yeah, it's really loud. So here it is without compression. <laughs> Okay, a compression pedal, by the way, can look, um, yeah, it can look like this. Yeah, and it can look like this. And yeah, this is a popular metal, model, metal, model. Okay. Now I'll engage the compressor, and uh, yeah, you'll notice when I play hard on the uh, chords, it would be almost the same level as when I play single notes, so it really evens it out, and the single notes are amplified. As I said, everything is trying to be the same volume level. So here is my first compressor setting. Thank you. 
Okay, and secondly, I'm gonna pull this effect to the extreme and turn up the sustain so it will really overdo it and will over amplify everything. Uh, so it, you can hear it now when the notes are supposed to decay, they are supposed to like die out and be more and more quiet. Uh, the effect turns them up uh, and it yeah you get a lot of sustain but it sounds kind of funny but a note is also when i play hard things that as usually have the threshold so it's you can't go louder than a certain level so here it is with a more uh, extreme sustain setting <laughs> Okay, that has been the Swedish Guitar Nerd uh, showing how a compressor works. Um, yeah, I hope this was useful. I'll see you soon. Bye.